Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. Today I'm bringing you tips and supplies that you'll need for basic wood staining. So the wood stain that you'll be seeing me use most frequently is this Minwax. It's an oil-based wood stain. This is my favorite color, Jacobean, which you guys all know, I'm sure well know, I use this all the time. So whether you're using an oil-based wood stain like this one here or a water-based wood stain, your supplies and technique will still be the same. You obviously want to wear some gloves, some protectant, because you don't want the stain on your hands. It will stain your hands just like the wood, and it is a pain in the butt to get off. So protect your hands. I use nitrile gloves. I also frequently get asked, what cloth do I use to stain with? And what I actually use are old cut up t-shirts. Like this is one of my sons that he grew out of and actually I think it got a stain on it. So it was either going in the trash or out in the workshop for me to use. So of course I grabbed it. And I just cut, use scissors, cut it up into squares and use that. You can also purchase uh, lint free cloths near the wood stains. So if you don't have old t-shirts, you can buy cloth that's specifically made for wood staining as well. So now when it comes time to actually stain your wood, you wanna make sure your wood is nice and sanded down and prepped and ready to go. Make sure you dust off any sawdust. And then all I do is I take this old t-shirt and I just kinda of wrap it around my fingers like this. I dip it into the wood stain. I don't want it drippy. You kind of want to let a lot of it drip off and then you just go with the grain of the wood back and forth with it. And that is all there is to staining wood. It's very simple. I have a whole nother separate video on cure time for um, stained wood. So I will link that at the end of this video if you'd like to go watch that next. I hope this video helped you. If it did, give it a thumbs up so I can keep bringing you this Quick Tip Tuesday series. If you guys have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments below. If you have more questions for me for an upcoming Quick Tip Tuesday, maybe I will feature you and your question. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget to hit the bell as well so that you get notified when my videos go live. And I'll see you in my next tutorial. Bye, guys. Thank you.